Hi guys, my name is Christy and today I want to talk to you all about cluster headaches. Maybe you're here because you found out on Google that um, you may be having cluster headaches or maybe you had a pain in one of your eyes or one of the sides of your head and you weren't quite sure what it was and you're frantically searching because it was the most painful thing you've ever been through. Or maybe you're seeing this video because you have a friend or know somebody that had a cluster headache before. I unfortunately am a chronic sufferer of cluster headaches. Now if you don't know what they are, I will briefly explain. Let me first start off by saying a headache is the worst word to call it. It's not a headache. It's not, <laughs> for me at least. It is not a headache. It is only my left eyeball and it is the most, and I can't, no word can quite describe how painful it is, but it's absolutely 100% the most excruciating pain that any human could ever go through. It trumps childbirth. It trumps surgery pain. They've even compared it to what it, it would feel more painful than to remove your leg without anesthesia. It's so painful. And as somebody who has these headaches, I can tell you that they are the most horrifying pain you've ever experienced in your entire life. And at the moment that they're happening, suicide sounds amazing. Suicide sounds like the suicide sounds like the best option at that time because it nothing nothing hurts the way these hurt. They feel like somebody is ripping your eyeball out or for me it feels like immense i can't even put a word on it it feels like somebody's ripping out my eye or jamming something in my eye or like my eyeball is exploding out of my head over and over and over again and it doesn't stop and i'm here to tell you that i have significantly reduced my cluster headaches using a simple tool that I found on Google. First off, I will tell you what it is. I'm not gonna like like scam you and be like, so click over to my website and buy my product. I will tell you what I'm doing. I, I don't want any money out of anyone. I just wanna help you if you get these two. Let me just first off say, I don't like comparing pain. I don't like saying you don't get cluster headaches, so you don't know what pain is. There are people out there who have had a lot of pain who may not have had cluster headaches, but I would like to just say, I'm specifically talking about cluster headaches in this video. I don't, I'm not really that big on migraines. I don't get migraines necessarily, and a lot of people get migraines and think they're cluster headaches because they come in cycles. A cluster headache is very specific in that only 60,000 people in the world have them. So a lot more people get migraines. These are a very rare, but very serious and very, 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 very painful headache. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing the air quotes because it's not a damn headache. It's just in your eye. It's so bad that I will link a video in the description of this video of a woman having a cluster headache attack. She actually posted it today, but it is the most real representation of what they feel like that I've ever seen. You want to hit yourself in the head. You want to pull your eye out. I've even said if removing my eye would get rid of this pain, my eye would be gone. I would have one eye. It hurts that bad. I literally, I would have abdominal surgery every week for the rest of my life if it meant that I would never have a cluster headache again. That's how bad it is. It is so painful. I've had surgery and I would take surgery over this any day, any day. Oh my gosh, you guys don't even understand. Okay, so let me first get into my backstory and then I will tell you what I've done to help reduce my cluster headaches. So my backstory is that about four years ago, I got one for the first time. They come out of nowhere and there's no known cause for them. Um, I got mine when I was at a friend's house in a different state and it caught me by complete surprise. I had taken a drink of alcohol and about 10 minutes later, I was in such excruciating pain. I was literally throwing up everywhere. My eye was just dripping water. I was wearing false eyelashes at the time. I had to rip them off, dunk my head in a sink, I was smacking myself in the face. I was screaming. I was crying. I didn't know what the hell was going on with me. And I was at my friend's house, so what do you even do at this time? So I, I asked her, I was puking everywhere, and I asked her if maybe she had some ibuprofen or something, and it didn't help, nothing helped, and I basically just had to go to sleep in her basement, and you can't sleep through one of these things. So basically I was in agonizing pain the entire afternoon, and I just had to just go away. I can't be around anybody. And that was the first time I got one. And then they kept coming after that. They weren't that often, but then they started getting closer together and a little closer together. And um, I, thought that ibuprofen might be a help to me. So uh, 
This is actually the second 750 count bottle of ibuprofen that I've gone through. And there's not that many left in here. There's maybe 100 tabs left in here. So to say that I've gone through 1400 ibuprofen, maybe I haven't taken all of them. My husband probably took a few of them here and there. But um, I took enough to where uh, I got an ulcer and that's not good. <laughs> yeah, my stomach lining's basically ruined. My kidneys are probably ruined too, who knows. But it took a while for me to realize these don't do anything, especially when you're taking like 800 milligrams of these a day. So don't do that. That's number one, don't take ibuprofen because it will do nothing for these headaches. Nothing, nothing, I'm serious. So I finally went to the doctor because I got one at work and I, I went to the emergency room. I was like this, I can't live through this anymore. So I went to urgent care and basically the doctor treated me like I was a drug addict. He wanted to just basically tell me that um, I was looking for drugs. He kept saying, well, you know, I can give you a shot of pain medication, but it's not gonna get you high. It's like, damn it, I don't wanna get high. I want the pain to go away. So he gave me something. He shot me in the ass twice with something and I don't know what it was, but the pain eventually slightly subsided that night. It was so bad though that I had to pull over on the side of the road. I was leaning up against a tree, puking and screaming and crying and grabbing my face and my husband was mortified. I couldn't even drive and I'm afraid to drive with people. So that tells you how bad it was. And I was there for maybe three hours, puking everywhere at the doctor's office. I get really nauseous when I get a cluster headache. I don't know about other people, but it makes me puke really, really bad. I think it's just the pain really or the fear. I don't know what it is. And then um, I finally went to my general doctor and I said, look, I'm getting cluster headaches. He said, no, I think you're getting migraines. I said, sir, I'm getting fucking cluster headaches. I know they're cluster headaches because I've done my Google research and Dr. Google tells me they're cluster headaches and they're only in my left eyeball and you don't know anything. And so he prescribed me a migraine medication called Sumatriptan. And this is my box. I'm not gonna show you the other side because I got my name on it. Um, but Sumatriptan has been the savior of my life when it comes to cluster headaches. It is Imitrex, or this is the generic Sumatriptan. Imitrex is like $400 and this costs like $5. Um, but the only side effect that it gives me when I take it is it makes my throat feel really tight and it makes swallowing feel strange. It also kind of makes me drowsy and um, sometimes can cause a little bit of dizziness, but it does do the trick. I take the tablets because I find that if I take them before the onset of my terrible cluster headache, because I can sort of feel it coming on, um, this does help. Sometimes it doesn't, and I've also had some really bad side effects from this where it actually put me in the emergency room because I was shaking really, really bad from having this. But to me, I would take that over a cluster headache any day. So these have been a big help to me, and that is what they prescribed me for the pain. Um, I started getting them really, really frequently, and to the point where they were coming, I would say, two, three times a week. And to me, that's frequent. I never get cluster free periods. Um, there were times where I would have one like almost every single day and um, they sort of spread out a little bit, but it's not like I go eight months without a cluster free period, you know, with a cluster free period where I'm not getting cluster headaches. Like I, I'll have them all the time. Maybe I'll go a couple of weeks without one, but that's really maximum for me. So um, I was taking the Sumatriptan and I just got to the point where I was like, you know what? I can't handle this abort the attack every time it's coming because I live my life in constant fear that I'm going to get a cluster headache. When you have these, you don't understand, like it's the most scary thought of getting another one. The thought of having another one makes you literally want to cry in the, in the corner and cower because it's so painful. So I got a referral to a headache specialist and when I went to him, um, he immediately diagnosed me with cluster headaches. He didn't even pussyfoot around. He was like, you have cluster headaches. There's no of course you do. I'm 100% positive that you do. He actually diagnosed me, which was the most refreshing feeling to make me feel like I wasn't crazy. He said that a really good um, preventative medication is Verapamil. Verapamil is a prescription medication that is for high blood pressure. I do not have high blood pressure. I actually have quite normal blood pressure, but this apparently helps with the suppression of cluster headaches. And I have not taken it for one reason, and that's because I'm gonna tell you about what did work for me and what has really significantly helped me. These three things here. So I was Google researching one day about Verapamil and the side effects, and I was freaking out because I had seen some really bad side effects, dizziness being really a really strong one, and a couple of other really scary side effects. I just really didn't wanna take it. I will do it if it ever gets to the point where I need to. I mean, there's no question about it. Cluster headaches are horrible. But what I did see was this thing called batch, batches, batches, uh, 
supplement protocol. And I will, I will have the links for everything in the description of this video. So if you guys would like to go check them out, the, the research and the science behind them, um, you can go look it, look it up because I don't know all about that. All I know is that it has helped me significantly. But I would definitely go look it up because you don't know what a lifesaver this has been for me. So I take calcium citrate. I take three of these a day. They're 200 milligrams a piece. That's 600 milligrams of calcium citrate. I take three omega-3 fish oils at 500 milligrams a piece. So obviously that's 1500 milligrams of fish oil. This is custom tailored to me. They say to do 10,000 IU of vitamin D3. I do 30,000 and I do that because when I took it down to 10,000, I feel like I was getting more cluster headaches. So I do 30,000 IUs of vitamin D3. That's probably way too much, but whatever. I don't care. I'll do anything to get rid of these headaches. And something about that protocol when I do that every single day every night before I go to bed I take these supplements with my biggest meal of the day which is usually dinner I cannot tell you what a difference this has made on my life I have significantly reduced my cluster headaches with just this protocol I have done nothing different other than that I still take my sumatriptan if I get a cluster headache and I also, he prescribed me oxygen. So here's my lovely oxygen tank with my non-rebreather mask. So I've got this if I need to. Um, I just breathe oxygen through this for 15 minutes at 100%. And I, I do it at eight liters per minute. It doesn't seem to help me that much. I think a couple of things have said online that 15 liters per minute is better. Trying to get a company to sell you oxygen and a mask and a regulator at 15 liters per minute is almost impossible because they think it's going to kill you because they only really give these machines out to people with emphysema, not cluster headaches. So anyway, I'm not going to get too much into oxygen, but it can definitely help. Look up oxygen therapy for cluster headaches if you're interested. For me, it hasn't been that much of a big help only because I think that my liters per minute is too low, but I'm not 100% certain on that. I can definitely call my headache doctor though and see if maybe he can give me a different little regulator for my tank. Um, but this supplement protocol has literally changed my life. It's not taken my headaches completely away. It's taken them down by what I would say is about 80%. To me, that's a huge ass number. I was having two, three, four, five a week, and I've maybe gotten it down to one, two, I've had about two this month. And that neither of them have been nearly as severe as they were before. I posted a comment on the video that I linked below of the woman having the cluster headache attack. And I, I've come to the conclusion that everyone has them at different severities and lengths and amounts. I, when I get them, mine last me about two hours, I would say on average, uh, maybe an hour. Um, if I can get them in time, I can cut them down to about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, if I get the medication before I get the cluster headache, like when I just feel the slight weirdness in my left eye, I can maybe cut it down and just have like a little weird feeling like that happened to me the other day. I started feeling like I was going to get one. I took a sumatriptan immediately and it stopped it. Um, one bad thing about sumatriptan also is rebound headaches. So I get rebound headaches from these if I take them too often. Now if I'm having like a episodic cluster period time where I'm like in like I'm getting like you know two three four a week at that point afterwards I will get a pounding headache for a few days because it's like my rebound headache because this the side effect of that is a rebound headache but I will take an all over headache any day of the week compared to a cluster headache. So that's really it you guys just taking these i i work at a veterinary hospital so i order some of my supplements from one of our vendors there so i get them a little bit less expensive ordering them online can save you a lot of money especially if you shop around i'm not 100 percent sure but calcium citrate omega-3 fish oils and vitamin d3 it needs to be vitamin d3 I don't know what the big deal is about vitamin D3, but it apparently is like the savior of cluster headaches. Look up and click on the link in the description that I put in there about the protocol and read. They have a study where people go on there and they try this out and they 
post their results a couple of months in and it's got like an 80% success rate with people. And you guys, that's huge. That's really, 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 really huge. It's real people with real cluster headaches posting their real results. And to me, that's where I'm gonna listen to the people because your doctors are gonna try to put you on all this sort of shit and you don't wanna have to just go through the runaround from your doctors. Oh, you're not having cluster headaches. Oh, you are, oh, you're not, oh, you are. If you think you are, if you're having that horrific pain in one of your eyes, if you wanna kill yourself when you get one of these headaches, if you don't know what it is and it's on, it's in one of your eyes and it feels like your head is exploding out of your face, you might be having a cluster headache. So I would definitely do some research on it and see if that's what you're having. And if it is, maybe try this out. I don't know if this works for migraines. I don't know if it's only for cluster headaches or what, but for me, it has been a huge savior and it's given me a lot of my life back. I still live in constant fear of cluster headaches and I'm not out of the woods with them. But if you know somebody who has dealt with this, I mean, it's pretty rare, you guys, like 60,000 people in the whole world. What's funny is that half the people on my Facebook are like, oh, I get those. And you're like, hmm, that's funny that like 30 people that I know in my real life get cluster headaches, yet only 60,000 people in the world get them. So it really doesn't make sense that half the people I know get them. And really what they're thinking is I get headaches and they come in like cycles, like clusters. But the term cluster headache needs to be reevaluated because it's a terrible name for it. They are not headaches, more like super often eye explosion pain. I honestly, I don't even know, but it's that bad. And I really honestly, truly sympathize with anybody that has these and they're absolutely mortifying and horrible and I'm so sorry if you get them because it's not fair and I wish there were more studies and I wish there was a cure and maybe one day there will be. Maybe one of the things I mentioned will help you out, maybe not. Um, I have heard that magic mushrooms can help and I've also heard that LSD can help. If that's your prerogative, great. I've taken mushrooms before in the past just for recreational use when I was like 17 years old. I had a bad trip on them shrooms. And so I'm a little freaked out to take shrooms again. Uh, I don't give a shit about the illegal aspect of anything because honestly, in my opinion, um, I don't really understand how a plant can be illegal when salvia is legal. It doesn't make any sense to me that mushrooms would be illegal when salvia is legal. And salvia is the most fucked drug in the entire world. I've not done it, but I've seen people do it. And how that can be legal, but mushrooms could be illegal, I honestly don't even know. Like, don't even know. Don't know. So, I don't know. If you guys want to look into something like that, I mean, honestly, anything that will help you not kill yourself from one of these headaches, I think is a pretty beneficial. And if that takes taking mushrooms once a month, if that means taking LSD, I don't know. I've done both and they both get you super high. So I don't really know how you would use them for treatment of cluster headaches without just being high all the time. So I don't know much about it. I'm good on trying it for right now, but I'm gonna continue with my supplement protocol that has been working for me and I hope that it works for you. If you guys like this video, I guess hit the thumbs up. You don't have to, it's totally like whatever, I mean. I just hope that this has helped you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please be respectful of other people too that have this issue. I don't want any fights going on in the comments about which is more painful, a migraine or a cluster headache. There is no need to compare pain. Um, it's just silly, but let's just all be supportive of each other. And if any of us suffer from any type of headaches, I. I'm sorry, I have, I am a chronic sufferer of every type of headache, but now of course I'm a cluster headache sufferer. And it's not a cool fun club to be in, I promise you don't wanna be in it. And if you've ever had one before, I'm so sorry. And to the woman who, this video I posted below, who was hitting herself in the head and screaming and crying, I've been there and I've been there probably hundreds of times. And um, I cried with you during that video, it was horrible and I'm very sorry that you've had to go through that, so. I hope any of this can help even just one person with their cluster headaches. I mean, I'm serious, you guys. Give it a shot. There's no reason not to, unless you're allergic to one of these supplements, and please don't do that because I don't want you to die. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at my next video, and uh, I hope you're all well. All right.